So today I'm going to be talking about how to find housing as a travel nurse. So how to find a place to live during your travel assignment. So stay tuned. So yes. I wanted to talk about how to find housing um, when you're doing your travel assignments. So there are multiple uh, ways you can do it. I know that some places um, do offer furnished for like three month con like three month leases or short term leases as they will call them short term leases um, that are furnished. So you can kind of look around at apartments.com, apartmentguide.com. Um, I will link all of the websites below. A lot of nurses are using Furnish Finders. I personally, um, I did go on Furnish Finders and I did find a few places, but either they were just taken and I, I have my own preference. Now, some people, I know a lot of travel nurses who do room rentals where they are in a big community, like a house. Um, and then they rent a room so they might be able to rent a room for like, you know, 11 or $1,200 Well, depending on what state you're in because California can be a little bit more expensive than you know Some other states and some areas of California like Northern California where I am um, It definitely can be quite expensive to Have your own space um, So a lot of nurses, you know do the rental of a room for the 13 week contract or eight week contract or whatever however many weeks your contract is um, me personally so like i need my own space um i did bring my dog jordan with me i'm sure at some point you have seen him or you will see him if you all um, continue to watch my videos um but yes i uh went on furnish finders so you can put in like a request so you can put in like a housing request where you submit like your telephone number your email address and um, the area that you want to live in, like the city that you want to live in. Now I did this and I'm just going to say, I will never do it again. <laughs> because being from, you know, I'm from Philadelphia, I'm from Philly and being on the East Coast, I've had people calling my phone all times of the night with the time change. So some people do not respect time at all. So. I was getting calls at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. Now, my phone goes on do not disturb at 9.30 p.m. So, therefore, I wouldn't, I didn't hear it anyway, but it's just the principle. And I got, like, 50 calls a day for, like, four days or five days straight. And it, I had to figure out how to take myself off the profile. And by this time, I had already found housing. So, it, it don't, after, like, the, the day I put my request in, like, that next day, I found housing. So, other options. Airbnb, of course, you can always do an Airbnb. Um, some renters or some owners of the Airbnb will allow you to stay for three months at a discounted rate. I would just all, you know, if you find a place, message the owner, see if they have any extended availability, and see if you can do that. Now, that is the route that I took. Um, I found someone who has a, who had an Airbnb. I did, you know, I booked it for the month. I talked to them. I asked them if they would offer me a discounted rate to stay for the additional two months. And they did offer that to me. I also, as a backup plan, because I wasn't sure when I got here, I'm like, I got to make sure that, you know, it's clean and you know, it's worth, you know, it's in a good neighborhood because that is important because I want to make sure I feel safe. It's, you know, being is just me. Now, granted, I am tough. And I can probably, you know, hold my own. I just still want to make sure that I'm in a safe space. So, you know, I was able to find a place that's in a building that is locked, secure, own private, like, parking space, in a secure garage. So, like, I, I needed that for me. Now, my second option was an extended stay hotel. So, some hotels will offer extended stay. I know the Hyatt House will offer you extended stay. And they do offer discounts for nurses as well. So that was my second option um, to stay, which they offer studio, one bedroom, two bedroom apartments, and they are furnished as well. And they do come with like a standard, like a couple pots, maybe one pan or something like that. 
and you know you can kind of go use that and the same thing for the place that I'm in now like it came with um, pots and pan it came with like two pots and a pan so that was just enough for me to be able to like cook my you know whatever and and still be able to like live and, and eat because I'm a person that like to cook most of my meals even though I do like to go out to eat um, while we're on pandemic and everything is shut down I pretty much don't have too much of an option and you know I'm trying to stay fit so and healthy um so that is also an option so again like I said the Hyatt house sometimes they offer discounts for nurses but I knew no they do offer a uh, like a short-term stay so you without having to like sign a lease or anything like that um what else i think so some places will some apartments will allow you to do a short-term lease for three months but you will um it's with a rental option so now you can they work with companies that you can rent furniture from these companies and then they will you know you tell them what you want a couch a tv uh you know and you can rent it for the month so like a rental center, I guess, in a sense. Um, so you do have that option. And I think, I'm trying to think, if I, am I missing? I think that's it for now. Those are the, those are the avenues that I went. So I did go on apartments.com. I went on apartmentguide.com. And I just called around. And because, you know, of the pandemic and everything being shut down, I didn't have a lot of options of touring because they didn't. They're not touring any facilities right now. So I kind of took a chance. Um, I did research my neighborhood, so I just always suggest research your neighborhood, research, you know, what cities not to live in, which neighborhoods not to live in, I should say. Um, so just know, like, look up your safest neighborhoods and, or if you want to live in the hood, I'm okay with that too. Like, you know, it's each his own personal preference, personal preference. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I was, like I said, I'm going to give you a little apartment tour. Um and i'll just give you a sneak peek into my space all right so here's a quick little glimpse into my space this is the living room that's jordan space my yoga mat and my little kitchen i'll save the full tour for another day and another video in the meantime, that's my space. So yes, that's a little glimpse into my little apartment. Um, I think it's perfect for me and my dog. It's one bedroom and you know, so it's completely fine. <laughs> anyway, um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications as I take you on my journey as a travel nurse. Bye guys.